everybody, my name is Savannah and today we're going to talk about a brand new game that I just discovered a couple days ago and although it's still in development and not released yet, it's shaping up to be quite a cute little game and I'm very interested in it. The game is called Paleo Pines and it's basically a dinosaur farming sim. Think Animal Crossing with Pokemon meets Stardew Valley all combined into one game uh, and then add dinosaurs on top of that. Now, we don't know a release date yet, but we have been told it is releasing this year, 2023, on both PC and console. The premise of the game is that one day you hear a knock on your door and you open it up to find a little dino egg on your porch. That egg hatches into your Parasaurophilus that you name Lucky, and although you love Lucky very much, Lucky quickly outgrows your house so you decide to move to Paleo Pines and take over a ranch that is a little run down and you have to fix it up. It sounds really familiar to many starts of farming sims, right? You have to fix up your farm. In Paleo Pines, there is no money, no crops dying, no bad guys, and dinosaurs don't eat you. You can collect as many dinosaurs as you want throughout the game, and it's really meant to be a very relaxing and wholesome game. Now, you don't actually just collect the dinos just for fun. Each dinosaur is going to have its own set of unique skills to that dinosaur, too, in specific, that will help you out around your farm. Some of the skills include sprinting, watering, smashing, tilling, and harvesting. So all things that can be very helpful around your farm. The actual player, you yourself, can do these farming tasks by yourself, but it's much more fun to do them with your dino friends. The more you use your dino's skills or interact with them, the more your dinosaur will level up and increase their stamina, so therefore being able to help you more. You might notice at each time the player hops on their dinosaur, there's a little stamina bar across the top of the screen. Now, these dinos are not your work animals and they're not your slaves. They are creatures and you need to befriend them and take care of them in order to have them help you with your farm. If you don't do a good job or you ignore them, they might just up and leave and not stick around. And as you watch our little player run around their ranch, you'll notice that the area seems to be rather large and it's not just a square plot of land. So that's something that makes me really happy. It looks like we're gonna have a lot of room to house many, many dinosaurs and hopefully you won't be in any danger of running out of room anytime soon after starting your game. You of course can leave your ranch and head into town or out into the rolling green hills where there's going to be various dinosaurs for you to befriend and also NPCs for you to meet and interact with. There are some shops in town where you'll buy your dinosaurs food or sell your crops. And each of these NPCs is going to have their own unique characteristics and personalities. Now to befriend a dinosaur, you might notice little symbols coming off of them as you run by them in the wild. These are visual representations of their friend songs that go along with the auditory sound that each of their friend sounds makes or friend songs make. This was added into the game and I think it is a beautiful little touch so that anybody with any hearing impairments or disabilities will still be able to play the game because you don't actually have to hear the song in order to mimic it. All you have to do is mimic the different symbols coming off of the dinosaur as they're singing. If you look in the bottom right hand corner, you'll notice it looks like they're playing on a console here because it says RT and LT, uh, right trigger, left trigger, and then right analog and left analog is what I'm assuming all those little uh, abbreviations are for in the bottom, but above them is each symbol. And as long as you match the symbol to the one of the dinosaur, you'll be able to match the friend's song. Now, matching their song is not the only way that you befriend them. Once you've matched their song, you then have to feed them a food that they'll like. And each dinosaur is going to have different tastes. But once you match their friend song and you feed them something that they like, you begin your relationship with them and befriend them to help you on your farm. 
Overall, I think this game has the makings of such a cozy and relaxing little game. I am a massive fan of games like Pokemon, Animal Crossing, and Stardew Valley, so I can definitely see myself sinking hours into this game. Now that it's on my radar, I will continue to cover uh, information as it comes out, and I've reached out to the developers to see if they can offer me any more information so that I can pass that on to you. Let me know if you think this looks like a game you would enjoy playing, and if you made it this far in the video, of course, remember to leave a like, comment down below, and make sure you're subscribed because I will be covering this game going forward so you don't wanna miss out on any future content. You can, as always, follow me on any of my other social media accounts. All the links are down in the description below. And until next time, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.